It's Friday and there's nobody here. Anyway, here's the uh, lesson for uh, next week uh, that we're going to be working on. Uh, I think it's supposed to be really cold on Monday. Wow. <sighs> so soon. Anyway, we're going to be uh, looking at some new skills here in um, Google Slides like uh, removing bullets, changing text direction, aligning text with a text box, and resizing a text box, which some of you have already done. Anyway, this assignment is in your Google Classroom. Class works. Make sure you go there first and look for the uh, add plus sign and start your file there. It'll put your name on it. It'll put the assignment name on it and it'll be ready when you're done to hand in. So let's get started. I have to start a different way being the classroom teacher. Uh, we'll start at the waffle and we're looking for slides. Okay, we got a good start here. And I'll uh, put the information in here on slide one. Okay, uh, combination locks. There we go. And go ahead and type this in. We might have to adjust this a little bit uh, on uh, font size. Uh, we'll uh, take a look at it here uh, once we get this typed in. Okay, this is our title slide. Um, you don't have to put a background in it, uh, so uh, just leave the background uh, blank if you can, please. And then um, we're going to go ahead and make our slides uh, right off the bat. You can um, uh, come up to uh, insert or, or slides and say new slide. And we don't want this format. We don't want this format. So what you have to do is apply a layout, which is a title in two columns. Looks like this. And you want to do that for the rest of your slides uh, for a total of six. So you have six little thumbnails over here on the side. I'll get that done. Now, if you noticed, what's nice, since I formatted this one to my uh, uh, layout that I wanted, which was uh, title in two columns, and then when I started to copy these, these all stayed with the same format, as you notice. Okay, here's slide two. Let's take a look. I think we're going to try a 60-point font here. Uh, you can move your text box up if you need to. And you can resize your text box if you need to. But we'll leave it like that. I think 60 is good. Okay, on slide two, we don't need this text box. So I'm going to click right on the edge and then just look at my keyboard and hit the delete key. Over here, we're going to start a bulleted list. We might need to stretch this text box out just a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. So uh, let's start our bulleted list. And I'm just going to go with regular bullets. And we're also going to change the font size to, uh, let's see here, let's, uh, let's use 36. There we go. All right, so uh, again, on the font size, the title was 60, and I kind of raised that up. Uh, I moved that text box up. Uh, we have uh, parts of your lock, which is combination, indicator, dial, shackle. I got rid of this other text box here. And we're ready for slide three. Ah, uh, I skipped a part. Anyway, before I go any further, uh, let's make this text color blue. This blue, the one that says blue. And let's do that to slide one on the title as well. Blue. All right, let's move on to slide three. Slide three should look like this. Okay, uh, slide three, uh, 
you're going to, let's see, let's see, first number. So change this to 60. Uh, you can move this up a little bit. Okay. You can move this down a little bit. And this is first number. Uh, you can change the font color, blue, and just name it. There we go. And in this one, um, let's see, this is 60. Let's make this, um, let's try 36. Might be able to squeeze it up to 44. Let's try 44. Let's see what 44 gives us here. And we want a bullet. And we want to call it step one, like that. And we want to make this red. And there's a color up there, and it's called red. I'm still thinking we might be able to push this a little bit more. 60. 60 looks better. Maybe even a little bit larger. 60. What about 72? Ooh, look at that. I think 72 is even better. Okay, um, next. We have some directions we need to type in over here. Okay, we decided on a 30-point uh, font. And that's slide 3. Let's move on to slide four. Okay, here's slide four. Uh, we've got a blue 60 point uh, title. We have a red bulleted list that says 72 point with a bullet. Uh, our other text box here is uh, a 30 point font. And I just went out of the box a little bit. You can, you can just resize that box, that text box for you. It'll fit. I didn't change the alignment. I just I just made the text box a little bit bigger, okay? And um, that should view okay. You can try it. If not, uh, I, I think we're okay. So we're moving on to uh, slide five. Slide five. Okay, so we've got uh, slide five now. Remember, you can pause this at any time. Okay, just a quick review. There's uh, slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six, our last slide. Okay, uh, we need to change the layout of our last slide. So uh, look at slides, look at the layout, and we need title and body. Okay, title and body. There we go. All right, slide six. <clears throat> Just a, a little uh, um, uh, hint on how to lock your locker back up or use the lock. Um, we'll get this typed in, and uh, we're not quite done yet. Just because I have it typed in, we've got a few more things to do. All right, we tried to keep the same format throughout this uh, presentation. Our uh, title bar was a 60-point font in blue. Our... Uh, Directions were a 30 point font and uh, the uh, preset color uh, looks like a light gray of some type. And um, we've got uh, uh, some things to do with these large bullets. Okay, we got some things to do here. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, uh, back to slide three. Okay, we just don't want to delete the bullet. You can, but it, it leaves a little gap. What you actually want to do is turn off the bullets. So uh, come up to your list here and turn that off. 
and then we want to stay here. Uh, there's a way to rotate your text underneath Format Options. And I, I think I can do this. We can rotate 90 degrees. Looks like this. Okay, looks like this. And if you if you need to, um, we can back up on this a second. Okay, and all it did was rotate that text box. And uh, uh, the the next thing to do would be to uh, right justify your alignment tools. Right justify. Now that's a little close there. And what we can do, we can resize this text box to match the other text box. So right justify, which I just did. And I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit more. And I should be able to find that other text box here. There we go. There, there's my guideline. Okay. So the, the tops are matched. And I got a nice little space there. I'm not, I'm not interfering with the title. And uh, we can do this with the, the rest of them. Okay? All right, give her a try. On to step two. So um, I'm going to just select the text. I'm going to take my bullets off. I'm going to format options. I'm going to rotate 90. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to right justify alignment, right justify. And then I'm going to adjust my text box. There should be a guideline that pops up there here soon. We're close. There we go. Okay. Worked on the first one. A little bit higher. All right. Okay. Step three. Here we go. Um, take the bullets off. And my format options are still open, so I can use those. And I'm going to adjust my window, and I'm going to adjust my, before I forget, my alignment to write justify. There we go. I had to get out of the um, editing mode. If I if I'm still in this mode, it won't it won't show up show up the alignment. So I click right on the edge of the box. Now I can line up my graphic. Okay. Now I can treat this as one object and it'll pop open uh, the guidelines once I'm in that mode. All right. Hey, make sure you turn this in in Google Classroom. That's where I check for your work. Um, that add plus button is very important. And there's a turn in button there. So uh, we're done with this. Hope you had some fun with it. Learn something new. Um, check for mistakes. I see one now. Uh, I'll go back through this and uh, check for other mistakes before I send it to the video shop. All right, you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.